And uh, Pilati says, good day. Is it possible for an estate agent to sell a property without a commission percentage? And just state that their minimum commission is, for instance, 20,000 Rand. Uh, Nick? Yeah, so, so it's an interesting question. I actually haven't seen it done in practice. Um, but in, in my view, there's not really a problem with this. Now, remember, the, the agreement that exists between, you know, your, your clients and the managing agent is just an agreement. Um, and you're, you're pretty free to, to, um, to negotiate the terms of that particular agreement, provided, obviously, the managing agent to make sure that they keep themselves in line with, with their obligations in terms of legislation. Um, but an agreement to this effect where you agree to a, a, a 20,000 rand commission or, or let's say a monetary commission instead of a percentage commission, uh, there's nothing really wrong with that. Okay, um, it, is, it is doable. As we always say with our managing agents, if you are going to do something like this, make sure you have a, a proper agreement in place, make sure you get it in writing so that there's no confusion either on your side or on your client's side at the end of the day. Um, because you know you don't want to get into a situation where you think you're entitled to the 20,000 rand commission and the client has absolutely no clue. It's going to be nightmarish for you. Um, so make sure you've got that in writing. And then the one provision I would say with this, um, just make sure whatever clause you've got in writing in order to put this in place, make sure you've, you've just done your, your research and had that checked. While, while I said there's not really a problem in the sense that you agree to a commission that is a monetary figure, um, that obviously depends on the circumstances of the particular transfer you're dealing with, okay? So what I would try and uh, say people should be cautious of is say you were doing a sale and uh, your 5% commission that, that you'd normally experience on a particular property is only a couple of, you know, a thousand or 2000 bucks. To then have a commission clause that says 20,000 will obviously raise a lot of red flags and you might be susceptible to getting a complaint raised against you. Um, you know, in terms of the act. So I would watch that carefully, make sure that the agreement is in place, make sure your client knows what they're agreeing to and they are in agreement. Um, but apart from that, there's, there's not really a problem depending on the particular circumstances of the transaction you're dealing with. 